nothing like having a cold drink on the boat. And now we actually have a refrigerator that keeps our ice cold. Hey, it's Diane with My Boat Life. So we have a 2002 Sea Ray 410 Sundancer and it's 20 years old now. And when you get a 20 year old boat, a lot of things start to go. This year, the big thing that we had to replace was the refrigerator in the salon. Uh, we had the original Norcold refrigerator, which everybody refers to as never cold. It was really, truly never cold. The ice cream always melted, the ice always melted, and it was also really noisy, so it was just kind of annoying. This year things got really bad, so we decided at the beginning of the season to go ahead and replace it. We went with the Vitro Frigo. Vitro Frigo. It's from Italy. <laughs> um, it came recommended from a lot of people that have the same boat as us, and they make a variety of uh, marine refrigerators. Um, full size, we needed the full size in our Sea Ray. Um, but they also have a lot of half-size refrigerators and combo units. Um, you can go to their website and kind of see all the different refrigerators they have. We decided to choose the black finish because it seems to kind of go best with our boat interior, but it's available in stainless steel and black. So if you like that kind of more modern look of the stainless steel, you can easily get a stainless steel. So what do we think of the Vitro Frigo? Honestly, it is day and night compared to the Norcold. It just has a reputation for not being very cold. That's why it has the nickname Never Cold. <laughs> um, the Vitro Frigo is really good quality. The way that they have um, the coils not sticking out on the back of the refrigerator gives it more interior space. So inside the fridge just seems like more volume. Um, and then the freezer is really the biggest upgrade for us because we never had a really good working freezer on the Norcold. The Vitro Frigo, it keeps the ice cream cold. We actually have to use an ice cream scooper for the first time on the boat, which is kind of crazy. And we like to keep bags of ice so we can make drinks and things. So we have no issue with the ice um, staying cold, no more melting issues, which is really cool. Really cool. <laughs> and. Um, what else? Oh, you know, just little things like the interior light, um, the LED light when you open the fridge. I never realized before that we never had a light in the fridge, so now you have a light. It's kind of a nice upgrade. So if you're thinking about getting a Vitro Frigo, I would say don't hesitate. I mean, we've only had it for about half of the boating season for a few months now, but we've had no issues. When it arrived, we had a handle that had a mark on it and we were able to go through the website and find the U.S. distributor, which actually ended up being the same place that we purchased it from to get the replacement part. So that was super easy, no problems there whatsoever. So it seems like customer service, even though it's an Italian company, is not really an issue. So here's a quick recap from Captain Brian about the install process. It was a big project, but it seemed to go pretty well, and uh, we're really happy with the end result. And uh, hope you enjoy your new refrigerator as much as we do. See you out on the water. Uh, that's so freezing. So man, that was an all day project. We, we got the new uh, Vitro Frigo. What is it? Vitri Frigo. It's from Italy. <laughs> yeah. We got it installed. It was a big job. It took all day. Uh, you know, we started at 7 a.m. I had to take the seat out upstairs to make room so we could get the fridges back and forth. I had to take the, the door off. I had to take these pads off. And even then, the old fridge wouldn't fit out the door. Plus, we had to remove this cabinet, right? Because we try to go straight through. This is totally in the way. So that was a big job. Oh, and it's a good thing we got the TV out before we right. replaced the old TV. Right, because you had to get in here and unscrew some screws that hold this part to that part. So we were finding screws for a while, lots of screws. Uh, but in any case, the, the old fridge still wouldn't fit out the door, so we had to take that apart. So the whole thing was just a, a massive job. And then um, 
and finally once we got the old fridge out we got the new fridge in put the old cabinet back and then you know wired up and and got the new fridge in there and done yep and so big upgrade yeah nice upgrades everything's nice and clean it, this one has a light the old Norcold was really noisy. This one's nice and quiet, really cold. Everything's like colder than I've ever experienced on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what about the freezer? And the freezer's nice too. Yeah, look how much space. This yeah. is going to be awesome. That's gonna, we, we can actually keep ice in here and then we're going to test out the ice cream theory. <laughs> the only thing we don't love necessarily are these little, these seem a little bit cheap. So we're going to see if we can score a couple extras just in case, but otherwise it's a great fridge. Yeah. Loving it. Uh, huge upgrade. So if you want to see the whole project from start to finish, check out our install of the fridge, how we pulled out the old fridge, installed the new one, and set everything up on the boat.